Hi everybody, my name is Amy from realenglishconversations.com and today I have a learning tip for you that's directly related to listening skills. This is something that is going to be useful from anybody who has terrible listening to an advanced level learner that really wants to stop using subtitles when they're watching a movie, for example. So for me, in my experience learning the Spanish language, my listening skills were really bad. I mean, I had a serious listening problem and I didn't realize it until I was kind of in this advanced level. It was okay in conversations because I could just hear the words that were related to the conversation and guess about the meaning. And I thought that eventually my ears were going to figure out how to understand this language, but it didn't work out that way for me. I actually had to do some specific work to improve my listening skills. So today, the number one tip that I want you to realize is that if you're listening to audio for the first time, you've never heard it before, this is actually testing your listening. This is not improving your listening, you're testing to see how much you can improve. And if you're testing, that's fine. You could say, oh, I understood 70%, 80%, even 95% if you're an advanced level learner. But let's ask the most important question. Why are you not understanding the remaining 30%, 20%, or 5%? What is going on in this section of the audio? We don't care about what you can hear. I mean, it's great that you can understand it. But when we're trying to improve that skill, the amount that you can understand isn't actually the problem. The problem is the part that you can't understand. So the strategy that I took to try to improve this area of my listening skills was really confronting that problem. Why can I only understand 80% and how can I understand the other 20%? So the problem is that most students think they just need to listen to audio once and listen and listen and listen to new audio all the time. And although eventually you'll probably improve your listening skills, we're talking about hundreds of hours of listening compared to doing a little bit of work and actually resolving the problems that you're having. So the reasons why you could be having poor listening skills are actually related to lack of vocabulary. Obviously, if you don't know the word, you're not going to be able to hear it and to understand it. So the lower level students probably have this problem more than not actually being able to hear. But as an advanced learner, when you read the subtitles and you understand 99% of the words that are being used, but you're only hearing 80% of the audio, when you don't have the subtitles activated, this shows a definite listening problem. You're going to have to listen to this audio multiple times and preferably in small sections. There is not going to be a big benefit of listening to a five minute audio clip or a one hour TV series two or three or four or five times, it doesn't matter, it's too big. Your brain can't remember what you heard the first time. So the actionable advice that I want you to take today, if you're serious about improving your listening, is to start focusing on the audio you can't understand and figure out what you need to do to be able to understand that audio. If you don't want to do all of this figuring out and trying to learn how to do this on your own, this is actually one of the things that we have on our website at realenglishconversations.com. Because this was a problem of mine, I made sure that I have the training materials, the recommended tools, and most importantly, the lessons that have audio plus a transcription or videos that have specific subtitles that are very, very accurate. These are tools that you need in order to improve your listening skills in an efficient amount of time. 
like I said, you have two choices. You can listen to audio maybe hundreds of hours and see a little bit of improvement, or you can do a little bit of work with that audio and see a lot of improvement in a very short period of time. A lot of the students that I've worked with have went from being dependent on subtitles in movies to be able to watch movies without subtitles when they follow the advice, technique, and method that we have available on our website. So if you've never been to our website before, the first and easiest step is to come and register as a free member. It takes about two minutes and the link is in this video, either in the description or up in one of the corners, you'll see a little icon. And if you like the way that we teach and the content that we have available on our website, or you're just really serious about improving your listening skills, honestly, look no further than Real English Conversations and our courses. This is one of the things that we absolutely specialize in. So I'll see you at the website. I hope this video was helpful, and we'll see you next time. Take care.